Wilson is a very specific kind of media pundit. He's an anti-Republican Republican. You won't find a Democrat counterpart to this media character. No, they only use alleged conservatives to bash their own side. There are many examples to these people in the media. You got Anna Navarro, Jennifer Rubin, David Brooks. Back during the Obama administration, it was Kathleen Parker who was the big conservative, anti-conservative pundit. She even won a Pulitzer Prize and admitted that she never got an award until she started bashing her own side. A conservative won a Pulitzer Prize. It just never happens with us on the phone right now. Pulitzer Prize winner Kathleen Parker. Kathleen, I'm sure the entire right wing of American politics is going to hoist you on their shoulders now because you won a Pulitzer Prize. How exciting. I don't, I don't think it's going that way, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't there, think so. Uh, you know, it, it's only because uh, I'm a, a conservative basher that I'm now recognized after 23 years of toiling in the field. Well, that brings us to Rick Wilson. A lonesome, little, ugly man who makes a living getting pats on the back from the left for viciously attacking people on his supposed side. Most recently, he's getting attention for hoping that Melania Trump gets the coronavirus. Such class and professionalism. He's perfect for CNN. Of course, this is perfectly acceptable to do on Twitter as long as you're targeting the Democrat Party's political opposition. You may also remember recently that Rick Wilson had some very lowbrow insults for Trump supporters that the CNN headliner Don Lemon found particularly hilarious. Donald Trump couldn't find Ukraine on a map if you had the letter U and a picture of an actual physical crane <laughs> next to it. He knows that this is, you know, an, an administration defined by ignorance of the world. And so that's partly him playing to their base and playing to their audience, uh, you know, the, the, the credulous boomer rube demo that backs Donald Trump um, that, that wants to think that... <laughs> That, that Donald Trump's a smart one in there. Oh, y'all, y'all, y'all elitists are dumb. <laughs> you, you elitists with your geography and your maps and your spelling. We'll get right back to exposing Rick Wilson as the scumbag he is. But first, I have this very important message for all my viewers. The world we live in today is in flux, filled with a flood of information that's often as much gossip as fact making it hard to know what the real situation is, making it easy for people to panic and make bad decisions. The only way not to get caught up in that chaos is to have a plan allowing you to avoid dealing with empty store shelves, long lines, and in the worst case, desperate people. Use today to prepare. A great place to start is storing food in your home. I'm prepared and I ordered even more recently. With this unprecedented emergency, orders are being delayed, sometimes eight weeks or more. I urge you to add your order to mine today. Take action so you're ready for what's coming and save $70 on a two-week emergency food kit when you go to my special website, preparewithdronetech.com. Those that know what's coming are preparing today. Go to preparewithdronetech.com. That's preparewithdronetech.com. Just look at how CNN and their cohorts express maximum outrage when someone calls it the Chinese virus or the Wuhan virus, even though they themselves did it for months, supposedly because they don't want any negative backlash on the Asian American community. Yet they have no problems at all creating backlash towards communities that they deem as legitimate targets. But yeah, it's totally Trump's fault that nobody trusts the media. Maybe it's just me, but with all the coronavirus news freaking everybody out, it really puts things in perspective and shows how futile all this political bickering really is. Given that perspective, it makes this next Rick Wilson clip even more vile. Yes, a recession would be very worth getting rid of Donald Trump and these kind of policies. You know, I gotta say, that the, 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 bring on the recession. They want their base to be like, we're taking their regulations away. These people hate Trump and half the country so much that they're actually encouraging an economic downturn as a means of getting rid of Trump. Strange how that exact thing happens months later. Well, they got their wish. With all the businesses closing and people not getting paid or able to pay their bills, an economic crash is sure to follow. While they lecture about respect and the dangers of hate, they themselves are given a special pass to promote as much hate of the other side that they can muster. Rick Wilson clearly sees himself as hovering above, while the rest of us are like mutant subhumans who are barely worthy of the right to express an opinion. The wall has always been a con for Donald Trump's credulous rube 10 
tooth base. He's really got a thing for describing his own side as cartoonish hillbilly stereotypes, which again is the height of irony coming from anybody at CNN. He always does this with a panel of leftists who just sit there grinning. My guess is nobody really likes this guy. He's a weird looking little old white guy who they use as a tool against their political opponents while he thinks they're his best friends. It's pathetic. Rick con continues with these insanely insulting terms. And by the way, I will tell you this. I wear your scorn as a badge of honor. I really do. And and this kind of condescension from unlikable elites is one of the reasons we won in 2016 and a reason we're going to win again. Last time I was on, the last time I was on TV with you, you called Trump voters toothless rubes. For you to continue to use all of these terms of derision only reinforces the need, unfortunately, in this country, the need that we had for the electoral revolt of the America First movement. And Yes, we needed somebody to lead that movement who was a fighter. What more is there to say about Rick Wilson? He's a grade A scumbag propagandist. He's probably thinking he's going to get a Pulitzer Prize for all of this, but in the end, he'll be disregarded like the trash he is. That's all I have for this episode. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you enjoy my content and you want to support my mission, please consider subscribing to me on one of these platforms. You can find all the links in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.